happening. It's great to see old friends coming back. When I mean old, you're still all younger. Uh, because especially in Kaho, we only get younger. So I think that was the flavor of times. We had a fantastic session with the Pitch Fest. Seeing some fantastic entrepreneurs, some really outstanding innovations that uh, not only spanned healthcare in hospital, but well beyond the hospital, home care, preventative wellness, and disability health. So we had 113 business plans, which we shortlisted down to uh, just under 20. And we had these outstanding entrepreneurs and founders come and uh, spend time with us at uh, IIT Mumbai at the Science Center and uh, basically be evaluated by about 10 investor angel groups and VCs. And much more beyond that, we had about 25 uh, to 30 CXOs of hospitals, uh, I mean, founders, owners, uh, neuro neurologists, neurosurgeons, cardiac surgeons. So it was actually outstanding to have that interaction where we're actually getting to the fundamentals of some of these innovations. But at the end of the day, we had to have winners. We have to look for the technologies that might make a difference uh, uh, in the theme. So I think it's with that that uh, we want to kind of have these four presentations. We've shortlisted these four, two honorable mentions and two winners of the uh, uh, award. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Um, so as, as he has uh, given the background of how you have gone through the proper, you know, such a long process of evaluation uh, and and you've been selected through a jury of so many accomplished people. So we look forward to hearing from you. Uh, I think we, all of us are very eager to hear, hear the solutions that you are here to present. So we'll start off with Glovatrix. They had some very interesting thing. Probably one of the first companies we see that's actually a Jugard sign language company uh, using a combination of IoT sensors, but also physical uh, haptic devices. So, Good uh, evening, everyone. I am Eshwarya Karnataki, the co-founder of Glowatrix. And before uh, I propose the solution, let me tell you a very interesting story. We lost your voice, Aishwarya. I'm sorry, was that uncomfortable? Did you feel like you were missing out on something? Well, this is how deaf people feel every day. So have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to share your excitement or express your fears, but there was no one to understand? This feeling of being left out is heartbreaking. And that is why we are here to ensure that every sign language user has the freedom to express themselves in their native language and yet be understood by all. According to WHO, there are 466 million deaf people in this world. This is more than the total population of USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and UK combined. We want to unleash the potential of these 466 million deaf people uh, and help push humanity forward through our device named the Fifth Sense. In India alone, there are, 400, uh, there are 68 million people who are deaf and 98% of them have difficulties in communicating with the hearing community. And that's why they remain marginalized. This number is more than the total population of France. This communication gap leads to a huge cultural, economic, educational, professional, and social contrast between the signers and the speakers. We have also identified that while Indian Sign Language or ISL is actively being developed by the government of India, WHO says that only 2% of the deaf people are formally trained in the use of ISL. This is because of shortage of trainers and lack of accessibility. So before I explain the solution, let me quickly tell you the uh, story of why I decided to do this. My school had a separate section for children with disabilities. This was back in uh, 2008. And I observed that while all the other children had friends to play with, a six-year-old boy named Athar often played alone because no one understood him. So I started learning sign language to talk to him. And when he realized that I could not only understand him, but also reply back, he was so happy. He had tears of joy. All he wanted was a friend to talk to. But this, and then since that day, I had this burning desire to help deaf people communicate. However, this desire was converted into reality when I met Parikshit, a data scientist and an AI expert, 
and he formed courses with me to form Glowatrix, and that's the story of how Fifth Sense was born. I'm Parikshit Soni, um, and introducing Fifth Sense, uh, it is a revolutionary solution that we have developed that empowers the speech and hearing impaired people. So Fifth Sense resembles a smartwatch with sensors attached to your fingers. Uh, it translates sign language gestures to speech and text, making sign language comprehensible to all. What it does is it maps the movement of my fingers using sensors and we convert them to speech and text using uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, so the user wears the devices in both hands like I'm wearing right now uh, and expresses himself in sign language. At the same time, our devices converts these gestures to voice output of the preferred language which, uh, which is transmitted to the speakers embedded in the uh, smartwatch itself. Uh, what it also does is uh, we are enabling two-way communication. So the inbuilt microphones in the devices enable the deaf user to understand what other people are saying around him and uh, by converting it to voice and text. Uh, we also convert background sounds such as doorbells, cooker whistle, baby crying uh, to notifications, thus alerting uh, deaf users about these things. Uh, fifth sense. Uh, coupled with an education app also as a, acts as an excellent education platform to learn sign language in an interactive manner. We'll touch upon that shortly. Uh, it is ergonomic, easy to set up and even easier to use. We have had a 10 year old deaf child set it up and use it with ease. Uh, the last thing that we have done is we have introduced an emergency button to ensure the safety of our users. So as I said, using Fifth Sense as an education platform, the deaf and speech impaired users will be able to learn, practice sign language from any remote location in an interactive and an affordable manner, thus increasing the Indian sign language literacy rate. Fifth Sense will bridge the communication gap between the signers and the speakers, enabling them to have equal opportunities for education, employment and entertainment, assisting them in living a truly independent life. Using this device, a speech impaired person will be able to have a private conversation with his doctor without an interpreter in the room. It will help a speech impaired professional give a speech confidently to a room full of people. It will help a deaf father put food on the table as new arenas of employment open up. It will also notify a deaf mother when her baby starts crying and thus alleviate her anxiety. Looking at the competition, we have no direct competition in the Indian markets. However, globally, there are two companies which make a similar product. But as you can see, the price is exorbitant as compared to ours, and they also lack certain key features such as learning mode or emergency mode. Uh, we are engineers who believe that technology is the key to a better future, a future where everyone feels included uh, and respected. I am Eshwarya Karnataki. I'm an electronics engineer from Manipal University with a passion for social work. While Parikshit is a data scientist with extensive experience in predictive analysis, we also have a very strong advisory board to help us craft strategies and battle the challenges. Um, let me just quickly tell you about our product journey. Um, our initial prototypes were made out of duct tapes and jumper cables, but as we gained more knowledge, our prototypes evolved with us. Currently, we are at beta stage and this is the beta product. Using this, we have conducted pilots with over uh, 1,000 stakeholders and the overall sentiment analysis that we received was overwhelmingly positive and the excitement of our users and testers over the final launch has been a source of constant inspiration. We already have a few pre-orders from clients and institutes without any marketing. Uh, along the way, we received many awards and recognition. The most recent one was we were declared the winners of Smart City Initiative, which was conducted by the United Station, uh, United Nations. Uh, based on our current traction, we estimate the, to impact the lives of 900, 60, 700, and 10,000 fifth sense customers in the first, third, and fifth year, respectively. Using our domain, uh, knowledge and expertise and experience we have reached here. However, we have a long road ahead of us and we plan to keep updating with Fifth Sense with uh, superior features such as faster processor, WhatsApp integration, and finally going ultrasonic. That means no finger sensors. We believe that each one of you can add immense value in our endeavor to achieve this mission of creating disability friendly cities so that no Atharva has to face social isolation ever again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashwarya Parikshit. Um, I think the solution that you talked about definitely and the story you related it to comes with a lot of human touch. Um, and also given that you are one of its kind in India makes it all the more special. Um, so while we wait for some questions, but I have one question. I mean, when is the product 
launch you are looking at or when is the product where is the product going to be used where are you testing it any any additional information on that uh, yes, so we we plan to reach the market by Jan, early Jan next year. Um, over the next three months, what we are going to do is we are going to collect more data for our uh, AI algorithms. We will be doing some more pilot testing and we should be in a position to launch with at least everyday terms uh, by, the, by Jan next year. All right. Good. Um, so... I represent, you know, the center of excellence uh, in Bangalore, which is backed by Mighty and NASCOM. And uh, we have a pretty, uh, what should I say, uh, pretty well-connected ecosystem on healthcare uh, institutions, you know. So once your solution is ready, we'll be happy to uh, take it onto our platform and help you reach out to organizations across the country and even some of them outside the country also. So, so do do get in touch, you know, once you're in a position to have your solution be seen by some of the end users. Uh, yes, sir, Thank definitely. You so much, sir. Definitely, that will be of great help. All right, all the best, Ashwarya. Appreciate it.